Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and another episode of Me and Gen Z. Before we jump into today's video, I just would like to remind you that if you like this type of content, to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to drop a comment down below if there's anything you would like me to discuss in future episodes, whether it is with things going on around the world or just things going on with our generation, drop a comment and I can try to make a video about it, okay? Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I put up a new video. Also, a good way to know when I put up a new video is to make sure your notification bell is on. So, you know, just do the whole thing. The buttons are really close together, so it's like, comment, subscribe, easy peasy, they're all there. But with all of that said, let's get into today's episode of Me and Gen Z. Okay. So today's topic that I really want to discuss doesn't necessarily apply to Gen Z that much but it is something that I think is important to talk about for any generation and for every human being uh, right now and the title is Find the Silver Lining. Now what prompted this video is uh, last week I touched on this a little bit at the end but I didn't really get fully into it. But basically what has been happening in South Africa this last week, a uh, week and a half, is it's been really, really crazy. So there's been a lot of looting. There's been a lot of violence. There were literally places that were set on fire. People get couldn't get to the shops to get food. It was honestly terrible. And it's starting to go back a little bit to normal. The situation is starting to uh, get better, but it was really just when it was in its peak, it was really, really tough. You couldn't really even leave your house. The roads were so messed up. You couldn't drive anywhere. Um, like honestly, we struggled to get bread. Um, and it was, it was tough, but there was something really good that came out of it that really just it kind of you know warmed my heart to see when we finally could uh drive around again and there were some shops that uh, managed to open so when you could actually start driving again it was so amazing to see the way that ordinary people came together like i'm speaking of people from their communities they started just protecting certain stores that could still open that still had stock that weren't looted and to make sure they weren't looted these people from this community ordinary everyday people like you and me they started forming their own barriers uh, legally of course they made sure everything was still accessible and they made sure the store was protected the people helped clean up uh, the mess in the streets this com communities came together to protect their own and to make sure that everything was clean and that everyone could get food and everyone was just they they came together and although the situation that was going on and is still going on was so unbelievably horrible it was really it was it was crazy like this one store they were ripping the sun panel, this the yeah the sun energy panels. Why can't I think of that word? They were ripping those panels off the roof. The place was basically just a shell when it was done. And you can probably go look up the videos on YouTube. I don't want to get into much of the the horrible stuff that happened, but the fact that this incredible thing came out of it. Like I'm not saying that I condemn what happened because obviously I don't. But this bad situation could have gotten a lot worse, okay? It could have caused fighting amongst, amongst us. But what happened instead was something good came out of it. People came together, people from all walks of life came together to protect their communities, to protect their stores, to get food to people who really needed it. Like in our street, if you had something extra, you put it, we have like a group or a WhatsApp group because everyone has a WhatsApp group. We have a group where people might have gotten some extra bread or some extra milk and people would be like, okay, I have like one loaf of bread who really needs it. And we would kind of just make sure everyone had food and all of these communities just came together and 
it's something that finally genuinely united us because we all felt this need to protect the people in our communities and it was honestly it was stunning to see that even in a time as horrible as that people could still come together and i want to kind of take this uh, this lesson and apply it to every day we all go through really really bad times like all of us have experienced something horrible in our day-to-day -day lives something has happened to us that is just or multiple things but obviously there are every person experiences things differently so your bad might not be bad for someone else that doesn't make your bad list valid just different people react to different things differently but you need to find the silver lining as hard as it may be because trust me the situation that i refer to it, there were damages into i think probably the billions the the fact that okay it's it's going to be a really really tough thing to get back from but the silver lining was that it made people come together who probably never even knew about each other they probably never met before but they came together because they had a common goal to protect the people in their community and to make sure everyone had something to eat and that is what i want to apply to life because you can go through a really bad situation i have gone through bad situations i'm pretty sure if you're watching this you have gone through a bad situation before or bad situations a lot of them but instead of and this is something that you really do need to learn because it's really easy to dwell in these bad feelings guilty as charged i've done that before you don't always want to look for the silver lining you want to just lay in your bed and feel the negative feelings and never let go of the negative feelings the problem is that's not healthy and that is you're going to let one bad situation ruin the rest of your life and that is something that i think we all need to work on because as hard as it is Finding the silver lining from every bad situation is definitely a way to make your life better. So, for example, a lot of quotes say, some people come into your life to teach you a lesson. So, you might be angry with someone that hurt you. And granted, when people hurt you, it, it sucks. Okay? And it might take a while for you to forgive them or to move on. But the silver lining is they taught you something. They did. Or a bad situation taught you something. It, it Perhaps it taught you how to deal with rejection. Because rejection is going to happen in life. Whether it's with job interviews, whether it's with people that you like that don't like you. Rejection is going to happen. And perhaps that person's purpose or that situation's purpose was to help you deal with rejection in a way that is healthy so that when that does come across your path, you are not totally paralyzed by whatever you're feeling. Perhaps it is making you a stronger person, making you, making you able to better deal with your emotions. Uh, not suppressing your emotions, because that's not healthy, but actually deal with them instead of suppressing them okay every situation no matter how bad is there to teach you something and in the moment it's not always possible to see what that situation is trying to teach you but later in life you will come to find that because of the things that happen to you the bad things that happen to you you are the person that you are today there were lessons to take from each of those things and those lessons are the silver linings because when you learn things in life through experience through going through that tough times it really does make you a stronger person it makes you better able to deal with things and it shapes who you are and if you can find those lessons and you can turn them into a silver lining those bad situations may not seem as bad anymore i mean they're still they still suck when they happen and it's still not fun to go through but when you start seeing the lesson in everything that you go through 
you will eventually come out of it a lot better, a stronger person, a person that's better able to deal with something or in the future know what to do in a, in a similar situation. So that's kind of what I took that from what I was seeing in my own experience and I wanted to apply that to your day-to-day -day life. You know, when you're going through something bad, don't just focus on the bad because that's really easy to do. You only see the bad. You only see the negative. You only see all of the things that suck right now. But if you try and you look at what may be, you know, what, what you may learn from what you're going through. If you're trying to see perhaps the situation brought you closer to a friend that you needed to talk to because they they had gone through something similar perhaps you've been estranged and you became friends with this person again or perhaps it taught you how to deal with certain emotions perhaps it taught you what to do in the future should this situation occur again if you can try to look for silver linings in really bad situations you're going to train your mind to start looking for the positive in even the worst of situations and not you're not always going to succeed i get that sometimes we do get overwhelmed by our negative feelings that's human we can't always control our emotions uh, but if you can get into a habit of trying to find the positive in bad situations finding the silver lining in that dark cloud you are going to not only improve your quality of life with your mental health, but you're going to start learning things and you're going to start becoming a stronger person instead of dwelling on the bad things and just kind of staying in this little bubble under your bed, uh, uh, under your bed, wow, okay, under your um, comforter and missing out on life. Okay, so I'm not saying it's going to be easy because these things never are. But if you don't try, you'll never know. Okay, so bad situations are going to happen to all of us or have already happened to all of us. But if we can try, at least try to find the silver linings to these situations, then I think, I think we can really improve not only our mental health, but our lives like in general. Find what this is trying to teach you. Find what this is trying to push you in a certain direction, perhaps. Perhaps you were going the wrong way and this situation occurred and you find a new way that you're like, what? Why did I never think of that? These situations happen and most of them can teach you something about yourself, about someone else or how to deal with something. It makes you a stronger person and it eventually leads you to living a happier life because you know things you wouldn't have known if you didn't go through this so that is my message for today and it's a bit of a shorter a shorter episode but I really wanted to share this message with you finding the silver lining even among the darkest of clouds um, I think it's really important uh, when you're surrounded by, by by negativity to try and find even the smallest slither of positivity and that is my message for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of me and Gen Z. And I um, look forward to chatting to you guys again. Have a great day.